the first question is Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Muhammad Asad working in aviation industry in Qatar. Question is regarding credit cards. In response to a question, you mentioned that conventional credit cards are haram. After this, I have closed all my credit cards. Now I saw a course being offered Al Hidayah by your organization, and payment has to be done online only through credit cards. How does it work? Isn't it contradictory to what you had said previously or specific types of transaction allowed? Jazakallah khairan. The brother has rightly said in the first part of his question that I had said that all conventional credit cards, it is haram to deal in it because conventional credit cards, you have to sign an agreement that if you delay in payment, you will be giving raba interest, which is haram. So as far as credit cards of conventional banks which deal with riba, it is haram. Coming to your second part, that when you went on the Alidea platform, which is managed by me and my organization, it said payment only through credit cards. This is totally false. Payment can be done by debit cards and by credit cards. Amongst credit cards, we prefer is credit cards from Islamic banks, not conventional credit cards, because conventional credit cards are haram. So when I gave in my answer regarding conventional credit cards, I did say it's haram, and you disconnected or stopped all your credit cards is good, but you had the next option. And in that answer, I also said that the best option is the debit card. Debit card from any bank, whether Islamic bank or conventional bank, it is permitted because debit cards don't involve riba. The second option is that having credit cards from Islamic bank because the credit card of Islamic bank works on the principles of Sharia and there is no riba involved. And I also say normally I don't like taking credit whether from any bank, whether it be conventional bank, whether it's Haram and Islamic bank, though I say it is permitted, I avoid and I've never taken from any Islamic bank. So the best would be option that you should have a debit card. Debit card of any bank because it does not involve riba, it is permitted and we prefer the payment on our platform number one is to debit cards. Number two is credit cards of Islamic banks because credit cards of Islamic bank do not involve riba and it is halal, it is permitted. The third is if someone makes payment by a credit card from a conventional bank for him to use that credit card for purchase anything is haram. But the person to whom you are giving, he is receiving money. So money received by a credit card of a conventional bank, I am not involving in riba. I am not paying any riba to that bank for receiving it. I am paying service charge. That is permitted. For example, let me give you an example. Suppose a person robs some money and he goes on a store and he buys phone some food, robbing is haram. For him to buy money with robbed money is haram. But the person who is a store owner, he is selling you bread or biscuits or some food. That money for him is halal. Unless he knows that this is a robbed money and he should not take it. But as far as a person who withdraws or takes money on loan, from a conventional bank with Raba or from money lender. And if he goes to a storekeeper and he buys some food or goods, for the storekeeper to take that money which is taken on Raba, it is halal for him because he is not indulging in Raba. But for the person who is taking it from a money lender or from a conventional bank, it is haram for him. So if anyone is using credit cards from a conventional bank to buy any goods, whether it is halal goods or haram goods, whether it is from Alidaya, or from any other platform, for him to involve in riba activity, signing the agreement that he will pay if he does not give on time, it's agreeing to a riba, it is signing on a riba agreement, which Allah says clearly, anyone who indulges in taking or, ribbing, or taking or giving of riba, Allah and his earth will wage a war against you. And according to Imam al-Dhabi, it is the 12th major sin in Islam. So your first part was correct. 
that I said all conventional credit cards are haram. You stopped all of them, I'm happy with it. But you could have taken other alternatives. You could have applied for a debit card, which is the safest from any other bank, or a credit card from a conventional bank. So I hope this clarifies that if you want to deal online, and now Alhamdulillah credit cards are acceptable on most of the online platforms, and there are other ways to pay online. That's not the only way. But the easiest and the safest and the most halal way is by a debit card. And the second option would be credit card from an Islamic bank. Hope that answers the question.